Hey guys, so I'm actually at work right now and um, I was gonna start vlogging earlier in the day but for some reason I just forgot to. So it's about close to 1 a.m. Whoa, I'm not sure why we got all blurry there but uh, um, it's close to 1 a.m. and I'm on the memory care unit. This is just our little game room here. I've shown you guys what's in this room before, but um, we actually had a little bit of an issue earlier in the shift because um, one of the CNAs that was scheduled for tonight was supposed to go home if everybody showed up, but I guess they needed like a one-on-one -on, -one on our long-term care unit. And what happened was the CNA that had worked over 120 hours that I was telling you guys about on Instagram, she had chosen to go home because she was like super tired. Um, and then like maybe a half an hour after she had left, the other aide from long-term care came over and we didn't even know that nobody was on our other side of the memory care unit. Like when we got here, they had told us she was already over there. So I'm not exactly sure why they sent the other CNA home um, and then now they don't have anybody to do the one-on-one -on -one over on the long-term care unit so I'm not sure exactly what they're doing um, as far as the one-on-one -on -one goes over there but hopefully they figured it out um, there's two of us over here and now there's one person on the other side of our memory care unit but it makes it a little bit difficult when things are so unorganized that you have no idea who's supposed to be where and who's allowed to go home and what's exactly going on um, so yeah I don't know why this camera keeps like auto focusing this is a different camera than what I normally use so I'm sorry if it's a little annoying but it's about one o'clock I've just been I just did my second rounds and um, now it's just basically sitting around if the other CNA needs help then I'll help her but so far she's got everything under control and um, yeah I'm just gonna sit around maybe look at some stuff on Instagram and maybe watch some TV so stay tuned for more so I'm just about ready to get done with my lunch break I have about four minutes left and then I have to go back <clears throat> and wait for a little bit longer before I can start getting people up and getting people dressed so that's basically the plan right now um, like I said just on my lunch break and hopefully it's not as cold as it was when I got here when I'm leaving in the morning um, and I do have to be back again tonight for the same shift, just my regular 10.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m., but there's only two of us scheduled tonight instead of three or four, so we're going to be on our own on each of the memory care units, so sometimes I hate when they do that because at least on the one, it's really hard to try to get everybody up and dressed and everything in time <clears throat> for day shift to get here. But the smaller unit, um, which is our advanced Alzheimer's unit, we don't really have the same issue over there because it's less people over there. But you have to go over to the other unit to get somebody up over there. So <laughs> it's interesting to say the least. But I'm about to go clock back in and then head back to my unit.
about to go do or start my final rounds and get my people dressed and then do charting because I just realized I haven't done any charting yet and it's about 4 a.m. and I have until 6.30 to get all this stuff done so I should have plenty of time. Um, I don't believe that I have anybody to actually get up on my side, um, my part of the hallway. So um, I should be good on time, but I think I'm gonna do my side and then try to help her with her side as much as possible and then go and do some charting because I need to do all the charting for tonight. <laughs>